All right, everyone who is here. I see Naomi, you're the first one. Um, why don't you guys say hi while we wait for the room to fill up? Um, say hi in the chat. Say where you're from, what you're doing tonight. Me and Tamara are here. We're excited to talk about um, Simple Practice and her new course. And I will introduce Tamara in a minute. I know a lot of you guys know her already, but um, looks like the room's filling up. I, I was just telling Tamara, I don't know how many people actually originally or signed up total, but last time I looked, it was somewhere around like 45 of you guys. So yay. Hi, Kristen. And good job for those of you guys who switched it to all panelists and attendees. Otherwise only me and Tamara can see you. So, um, Kristen, you got it. Um, Tawny switch, Naomi switch and Karen. There you go. You got it, Victoria. Awesome. So uh, we've got a pretty good group. Looks like there's 18 of you so far. I'll give it like a couple more seconds. Um, this will be recorded. I will be, you know, providing access to you guys um, so you can, um, you know, see this later. Um, hi, Naomi. <laughs> So what I want you guys to, to do is just be prepared. Uh, this is a really, it's an informational call tonight. I want you to be able to ask Tamara questions. She's got a presentation that'll last um, about 20, 30 minutes. And then uh, it'll be more of Q and A of what, what you guys are hoping um, to get help with. So uh, I'll introduce Tamara Thomas. Um, a lot of you guys know her because she has been, um, an associate myofunctional therapist with me um, pretty much, I, I would say since 2017. Mm -hmm. um, she's now been helping lead along with Megan Van Oy, the, um, why well, can't I think of the name, the matchmaker program or the online internship for you guys. And so she's doing really cool stuff. Um, I I'm, I'm, was super impressed by her skills with simple practice and all the stuff that she's done. So I asked her if she's ever considered putting together a course for it. And she said, no, no, I haven't thought of that, but I would love to. So I said, I think a lot of people would really like it. So that's why we're here. So I'll let you take it away, Tamara. You can introduce yourself more if you want, but it looks like there's about 24 people. So I think we're, we're good. Great, awesome. Well, yeah, my name's Tamara Thomas and I've been with Sarah since 2017. Um, I started using Simple Practice just because uh, actually, I don't even know. I think someone else recommended it in my mentor that they've yeah. tried it. So once I did, then I was like, um, I needed something from different from what I already had. And the one I had wasn't working for me. It was um, for me, Jane didn't work well. So um, integrating everything, it was complicated. Um, so simple practice, just I took the free trial that they offer for 30 uh, days and uh, just kind of dove in and made the big switch once I realized I liked it. Switching from Jane, um, that was a bigger endeavor. I've had simple practice, I think, for two or three years now. So I had some clients that I had to switch over from Jane. Um, that was huge. So uh, I had to make sure that I found something that I wanted to stick with because it's hard. <laughs> it doesn't seem like a big thing to like switch patients. So I'll just enter him over here. But yeah, um, it's everything. a really big deal. And that's why I feel like you putting together this course that it's literally going to lead people through the setup process, um, you know, getting everything correctly. I, I'm, a, I'm a big believer in not reinventing the wheel. Like if somebody knows how to help you and you can just kind of follow someone's lead, like you could either do that or you could spend the next three months trying to figure out how to do it on your own and, you know, learning the hard way. So I don't know, Tamara, how long do you, what was the learning curve for you? Like how long did it take you to really feel like you got it down? Oh goodness. Well, it's always changing. So, um, mm. maybe, I mean, I had it down pretty fast, probably, you know, three or four months. And okay. then after, um, that, then it, they're always updating stuff and creating new features. So keeping up with everything was, was the other part that yeah. was tricky. Yeah. So. All right. Well, I'll let you go. You, um, you, you can share your screen or do I need to give you access? I don't know if it's working. See. There you go. You should be good. All right. So I'm just going to do a little PowerPoint here, and then I was thinking maybe I would change or um, maybe share my portal a little bit just to kind of show everything. 
Give me a second. I'm gonna start my slideshow. All right. Can you see? Is it yep. sharing? Yeah. All right. So Sarah nicely <laughs> made it, called it a deep dive into simple practice with Tamara Thomas. So basically, like I said, I switched from Jane. And the one thing I was looking for was for a system that's all in one. Um, and so I feel that simple practice is the one that incorporates everything that I was looking for. And I'm going to explain kind of what I was looking for. So three big things for me was that there was an all in one system. So I didn't have to think about, um, you know, using this system for this, this system for that and making everything work together. Cause I felt like it was going to be, or I didn't feel like I knew, um, that it takes a lot of my time and I don't have that kind of time once I started getting busier. Uh, I could, couldn't count the hours of making sure, you know, checklists of did I send them their invoice through, you know, PayPal? Did I enter their charting stuff into the charting system, you know, in Jane? And did I, um, you know, send the reminder for the Zoom link or before I was also using doxy.me. And so making sure I did all that was like, you know, 15, 20 minutes prior to each appointment doing checklists. So for me, I wanted the all-in-one system. I didn't have to think about it. Everything would be automated. I wanted it to be affordable. I didn't want um, obviously to pay too much. Some of the systems that I was looking at um, that were HIPAA compliant were pretty pricey, you know, per month. And um, I just didn't want it to be out of um, affordability for me. So this was um, affordable. And then accessibility, I wanted it to be easily accessible if I didn't have my computer with me for whatever reason, or it broke, I was able to access everything either from a smartphone um, or another computer from wherever I was at. And that it was still, um, you know, everything was was there. So that- I feel like, um, Tamara, we can do like work for simple practice. Like we're, we're like totally, you know, like we're really selling their product for them. I wish they knew about this because, um, you know, it's kind of, it's just yeah. fine. We have no like financial incentive. No. <laughs> so. No, it's actually made for psychologists or psychiatrists. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people already know that because there's extra stuff in there um, that say like psych notes and stuff. But um, yeah, it's not geared necessarily towards myofunctional therapists. I've made it into it and it's just been easily um, transferable from that. So it works well. Yeah, they don't know. They don't know that we're doing this and that um, we <laughs> like it as much as we do. But so the all-in-one system is that I wanted to have patient charting I wanted to be able to customize the chart templates, um, you know, with my name and anything that I, not just the name, anything that I wanted to put in it. Um, sometimes you can only put a couple things in and like your name and then everything else is set. This isn't, you can make and uh, change everything that you want. Um, I also, this is actually a new one. I like that it has a direct patient photo upload. So they can go into the portal, they can upload it into their own chart and it's just there. Before they had this um, feature, when I first started, they didn't have it. They would have to email um, me and then I'd have to you know, transfer it. So that took more time. So that's a new thing that they've come up with and it's very nice. Um, I wanted to be able to send intake forms um, with the click of a button make sure everything um, was signed there. It's nice because it's signed and then it also gives an IP address um, showing where it was signed. So it's more um, legit, I should say, not legit, but um, oh, trackable. Yeah. yeah, it's trackable. And and so all of this stuff, I'm, I'm like so envious because when I started my practice 10 years ago, none of this stuff existed. So I have like a hodgepodge of so many different systems and I love that this is just all in one and I love that you figure out how to like make it easy. So I'm, I'm excited you're sharing all this because this, I'm like looking at this, like, man, I'm so jealous. Like I can't do all this <laughs> easy stuff. So I want you guys to be able to start off. Like everyone here who's interested in using simple practice. I really want you guys to be able to just have an easy system where you don't have to like, like do what I've done basically, which I've made it work, but this looks way easier. So yeah. Well, when I working for you, I used all your systems before too, and it, it was time consuming, but you did make it work the best to its abilities. So it was oh. helpful, but it was super exciting finding something that um, you could start off easy and everything's there. Mm -hmm. um, so then there's also an appointment booking widget. So I didn't want to also have another system that I would have patients, you know, have to send this link or um, there wasn't a way for them to book an appointment, I wanted it to go right into the system, right into my calendar and not have to link stuff together. So they do have that. 
Um, it also integrates with my personal calendar. So it, you can put it into your Google calendar so I can make sure there's no conflicts. Um, it also, when it does integrate in there, it's um, HIPAA compliant. So it doesn't show the patient's name or anything. It just shows that there's, uh, you know, I have an appointment at that time. So I can make sure that I plan my life accordingly because I live by my calendar. Um, secure messaging. That was a nice feature if the patient isn't comfortable um, texting or writing back and forth. There's a place where they can actually go into the portal. They have to log in and you guys can chat that way as well. Um, customiz customizable automatic email templates. So um, that was also something that I wanted to make sure I could customize. Um, that would be something we're also gonna go through in the course of exactly how to do that. And there's more than just one email. It's reminder emails for documents, for um, appointments. If you didn't fill out a document, um, all of that, it's not just, it's more complex than just one email template. I want it to be HIPAA compliant. I want telehealth to be integrated. Um, the nice part about that is it's, I believe $10 extra a month, but it does send a link completely to the patient. Um, before the therapy session. It's not the same link each time, but it makes it easy because I don't have to send it. It automatically does it itself. Uh, automatic email um, appointment reminders, and you can select text messaging if they prefer that as well. Uh, I wanted multiple practitioners if I ever grew, which I have, and I use that. Um, and uh, integrated billing services. So one of the reasons I didn't quite like um, Jane was because the system was in Canada. So I didn't realize there was an extra fee, a foreign transaction fee on top of the percentage that they take off. So that's when I started being like, oh my gosh, that's a lot of money. If I stick with them, I, I, I didn't wanna do that. So there's, I double checked, it's through Stripe. It's very easy to set up a Stripe account and then integrate it right into simple practice. Um, some bonuses that were great was there's a yearly tax report at the end of the year that I can print and give to my accountant. Uh, so they can do all those write-offs and it's just all in simple practice. There's a monthly income report if I wanted to see, you know, what I'm doing. And a lot of times it's, it's interesting because I just keep working and it's more than I thought it was. And I'm like, oh, this is pretty cool. You can just check on that instead of going through each thing and adding it all up. It does it all for you. Um, there is insurance billing. I personally don't use that um, system, but the nice well, part is... Well, like mm -hmm. a super bill that you could give right. to them. You don't have to like actually send it to the insurance companies. Yes. Yeah. So um, that's the part. The only part that I really use is that I put in those codes. And um, at the end of, you know, all the sessions, there is a super bill that will print out and it has, you know, your MPI number on it, everything that you need uh, on there um, with just a click of the button once you enter everything in. So that's probably the only part I use uh, if you, you just it. Yeah, I'm guessing you're going to take people through like how to actually set up the codes and, and use all that stuff, yeah. right? Correct. Uh huh. Yeah, so um, there'll be like a pre-tutorial little session uh, recording of what you should set up prior to our um, actual date that we're going to be doing this. Um, stuff like, you know, set up your NPI number. So that way you have all the extra things that you need to um, make it work. So that'll right. be um, in in the system before we start. You're so organized, Tamara. That's why I thought you were perfect for this. <laughs> you got That's it, how like, my brain works. <laughs> yeah. If not, my brain's just like, ah. <laughs> uh, and so then the affordable part was, um, I wanted it to be not too much money. So uh, for this particular thing, uh, you should get the professional plan only because if you're already seeing patients and such, um, you can't customize a lot. You can't customize the templates, appointment reminders and all of that. So all the stuff that I'm gonna be going through, if you have the um, lower plan, you wouldn't quite be able to do as many um, things. Um, so yeah, so $59 a month for the professional plan. And then if you decide you wanna do the telehealth, you can add that on later. Uh, so if you're not seeing patients, you don't have to quite do that yet. Um, you can take the telehealth card off too, or add it on and off it. So you're not stuck in that. So that's kind of nice. So for me, I do the $69 per month, the professional plan with telehealth. The bonus part is um, I have a referral link. If you decide to sign up with um, this uh, class with, with Sarah and I, um, the first month is always free. And then the link actually gives you the second month 
that would be free because um, it gives you a $50 credit once you sign up. So two months for free and you can be in the trial um, session while we're doing our um, class and the class is on uh, in December here. Yeah, so let me just explain that um, really clearly for people. So and everyone, no matter what, if you go to their website, you get a 30 day free trial. Um, because Tamara is a user or a member already, and she shares a certain code, you can actually get an additional month free. So we're including that as part of the course. So that way you guys basically can get two free months while you learn and figure out how to set it up and all that. So, I mean, if you know you're going to buy it or you've already bought it, then it doesn't really apply. But if you're like thinking about this and, and you want to work through it and you want to save some money in the beginning, at least it's a, it's a good option. So does that make, if that's right. That's correct, right, Tamara? That's correct. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, so then accessibility, like I explained before, you can go anywhere. You can just log in into any computer and, um, you know, access your charts. You can look at different patients. Um, and then you can also have an app on your phone, which is nice. And you can um, do telehealth through your phone. I sometimes, if I'm really stuck um, on the days that I am with uh, in hygiene, I'll do that from work. I'll be in my dental office and just use my phone and it works great. It's nice. You can see, um, move the phone around a little bit more than you can the, the computer. So um, everything's right there. Uh, it's, it's easy to, to use. All right, so then just some of the points of us with our deep dive class would be that it's gonna be a four hour course um, the documents I'm going to provide you with are consent forms, intake forms, and we'll go, I'll provide them for you um, through Google Doc, but I will also um, have you or go step by step of how to create that. So um, you'll be watching and learning as, you know, doing it together. Uh, consent forms, intake forms, consultation notes, and session notes. So how to build your session notes how to build your consultation notes, customize it the way you wanna do it. If you, you know, learning and then going in later if you don't like the way that I set it up, but just having that basic knowledge, that took me, that's what took me the most hours of uh, doing it, checking it, redoing it, checking it, um, and watching videos on Simple Practice. They do have a community that you can watch the videos, but I would say, I don't know, 60 hours of doing that kind of stuff at the very beginning, trying to figure out uh, you know, making sure I had everything and then it'd be like, oh goodness, I don't have this one. I forgot this intake form and now I got to add another one and these patients don't have it. So having all that, I, I wish I had it too, starting that someone just held my hand, got everything, you know, the back office stuff set up the way it needed to be so I can take off running afterwards. Uh, so then after the four hour class on December 6th, we will have uh, two 30 minute question and answer sessions. A um, couple weeks after, so uh, Sarah and I were talking about December uh, 20th, we'll have one, and then December or January 10th, we'll have another 30 minute question and answer. And that's for you guys to ask questions and me to kind of help troubleshoot with you. Um, there will also be a MyoMentor Simple Practice Facebook support group um, page for everybody to ask questions in there and for me to answer um, and just kind of collaborate a little bit more with Simple Practice. Anything that is going to be new. Um, I just got an email the other day that they, uh, you know, the, the way the telehealth platform is laid out looks completely different. You can now um, change the way it looks uh, for the patient and also you, you can pin videos or before you couldn't do that. I know in Zoom we can do that, but in, in uh, simple practice, they didn't have that feature quite yet. So everything's, you know, always um, evolving with them, which I like. They listen to the people. I've um, done a bunch of questionnaires of what we want to see happen. And a lot of those, you know, over the couple of years that I've used it, um, they've actually implemented those. They actually do listen. So I, that's one of the perks of simple practice that I like too, is it's not just like, this is what you get and we're not going to update anything um, as the times get better. And I think with uh, COVID, it's actually gotten a lot better too, because I think, that, you know, we're used to doing telehealth, but a lot of other uh, practices aren't and with COVID everybody's had to do it so that's super interesting let me see there's a question Anne's asking she says can we upload zoom videos to the patient's chart that I don't think you can do yeah I you have to usually use. these video files are so big that it would I don't know yeah I don't know that they would be able to support that but I got you to save in the chart or I've I had 
do you want to comment a little bit more on that? Anne? you mean like if you did a zoom video, upload the whole video to the chart? She'll, she'll respond. Um, Karen says I signed up on my mentor completion. My one month free is up today. Uh, I wonder, so what could Karen do in that situation? So did she just sign up in general for free? It sounds like, like she did the free trial. So, I mean, you could, you can work the system. If you have a different email address, you can sign up with a different email address and start your free trial again. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so then you would have to use that, that link. I don't have a way of like going to simple practice and being like, Hey, I know her or, you know, yeah. I, she didn't use the link. I, the only no, way I know you can get it for free is using that link. The course will be available to sign up for if you, Karen, if you want to take the, the deep dive into simple practice course with Tamara, um, you can literally sign up and then the link to extend that will be in there. So, but otherwise um, just use a new email address, start your whole 30 day trial again, and you'll be good. <laughs> That's a good way to think about it. Sarah. I didn't think about that. <laughs> I mean, I've done that. I've signed up with multiple email addresses just to try to get I mean, for different programs, trying to get an idea of, do I want this or do I not? And yeah. luckily I have like four different email addresses, so um, it works, but <laughs> anyway, uh -huh. uh, the rest of Anne's comment is yes, to keep everything together. It's not so important. I'm just curious. So yeah, I, I think you might be able to upload the video into the chart to save possibly. I'll have to double check that. But as far as like using a zoom link to email to the patient, for reminders that mm. you can't do. Does that make sense? I've had other people ask me that before. Like, can I use a Zoom link to email patients to automatically have them send an email, a link? It won't do that. It'll only use their telehealth portal to, to send an automatic link. Interesting. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, um, but, you, but maybe um, you'll have to look into it, Tamara, if you could upload like a video file to the patient's yeah. chart might be possible. It just depends on how big their of storage they allow. I'm going to write that down right now to double check that. Good question. I mean, I could see people wanting to save or even like little video clips of like um, a patient, you know, sticking out their tongue, lifting up their tongue, clicking their tongue, saving mm -hmm. like a little like 30 second to one minute video clip into the file. Um, I, I could see that being really valuable. So it'd be cool if they did that. Yeah. My, my guess is yes, I haven't had a patient do a video, just photos, but um, I'll double check for sure. Cool. All right. Well, you can keep going. <laughs> oh, I think, I think I'm done. <laughs> oh, that's it. Okay, awesome. Well, we can get off the, if, if you guys want to like take a screen grab of this, you can. Um, just so you guys know the class, it's $3.99. So um, that's, that's the cost and it includes, it's the four hours. It's the continued support with the Facebook group. It's a two 30 minute Q and a sessions. And, and I'll, I'll say the reason that I had Tamara integrate these things in is because I know that a lot of people have a lot of questions. Um, Tamara is like really super um, generous with her time. And I'm sure she wouldn't mind answering, you know, a hundred emails, but trying to find a way to kind of capture um, the questions because everyone's going to have the same questions. Um, that's why we're really wanting to guide people towards asking the questions in the Facebook group or um, whatever people are struggling the most with, then she can answer those in the 30 minute Q and A sessions. And, you know, maybe those will even go longer than 30 minutes. Who knows We're we're both of us are pretty flexible. So we're just trying to figure out how do we, you know, get, get the most possible um, help to, to the most possible people. Um, it looks like there's a couple questions. If anybody wants to raise their hand and actually have a discussion, you're welcome to do that. You guys all know the little hand raise button. Um, Dee is asking when the class is. It starts December 6th. So that's the four hour day, December 6th. And it's from 9 a.m. Um, it starts at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Um, that's 12 Eastern time. And there's gonna be breaks. So it's gonna go a little longer than um, the four hours technically. Uh, because we'll have, you know, five to 10 minute breaks um, throughout just to make sure you guys don't, you know, die. <laughs> it's a lot, it's a lot to sit through. Um, and, and I know all these, like, there's been so much Zoom CE and like all the, you know, conferences are now virtual and I know they're hard to sit through. So um, Tamara and I want to make it so you guys can, you know, can get through it. So, yeah. All right. Um, let's see. Anything you want to add to that, Tamara, while I read through the questions? 
Um, I think, uh, so we also discussed about having the support group. Uh, the Facebook group is free for two months afterwards. Oh, yeah, so yeah. December uh, 6 would be uh, the start point of the two months. So December 6 to February 6 will be free. And then after that, if you want to stay in the support group, then it would be a, a monthly fee. I think you were saying um, 1999. Yeah, 1999. So um, let me see here. So I'll get the link. I know people are asking for it. Let me just bring it up. I'll, I'll put it in there. You guys will get a follow up email. Um, basically, if you guys go to the Sarah K. Hornsby website, that's where my mentor is hosted these days. And then if you go to course offerings, you can see um, a bunch of courses there. I'm going to click on the simple practice course, and then I'm going to stick the link in the chat for you guys. So, um, but I'll, I'll share my screen. Actually, we can go through that together just so you guys know, or when the recording is posted, people can do it, but let me go to the chat. There we go. Okay. So that's the link you guys, you can check it out. Um, Natasha or no, who is asking that question? Um, Shuri is saying practice better is another system I've looked at and I'm comparing the two. Um, do you have any experience with that one, Tamara? I don't. I don't. I've kind of put yeah. my mind to this one because it's been so easy <laughs> for me. <laughs> kind of like once you put, it's like you put all your eggs in one basket. And so once you, when you choose a system, like you're kind of stuck with that system. So you want to make sure that you choose the right one. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, I was reading, it looks like Sharon Clark was asking if there's a way to track your expenses, like QuickBook type of thing. Oh, is there? Um, yeah, it's in the question. I'm not sure where I clicked, I believe. But there, there is, um, as far as like purchasing kits and stuff, it just depends like what people buy from you and all of that. Um, I just but, took that on camera, sorry. That's okay, but not... Um, necessarily like if you went to the store and put your uh, you know um what am I trying to say mail the kit and it was like you know five bucks that would be more your bank account quick and type stuff you can't really enter that and it's just really you know who's um bought packages from you or done therapy with you um and then you can put products in there if you want um it, you can, I guess, you can add stuff if you want to. I personally don't do that. I use like a QuickBooks. Yeah, you can um, probably put in, I'm guessing, like if you sold a mile munchie, if you, yes, you know, that you can. wouldn't say you'd, you probably wouldn't want it. It's a good thought to track all your expenses, but that would get so complicated. So um, yeah. I would say, yeah, I have a program like QuickBooks or um, Wave app I've used. That's free. Yeah, so. that's a good one. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah so. Know. I'll share my screen. I'll show you guys just how you can get to the website if you're ever curious um, about courses and stuff. So go to sarahkhornsby.com. There's me. Um, course offerings is where you guys, you can see that, right, Tamara? Yes. Go to course offerings. Now here is where I've got the 12 week program you guys have all taken, um, the next level program I've talked about before. Um, this crash course in myofunctional therapy is a great free course. I think most of you guys have taken that. Um, I've got this course with um, Dan Hansen. Um, there's a free webinar with Patrick McEwen. Um, this is the, the matchmaker program for patients and then Tamara's course is right here. So um, once you click on it, here you go. So you can read more of the details. Um, and then to register, you should just be able to click one of these. Let's see. Oh yeah, here. So um, join us today. And it will take you to the registration page um, where basically you enter in your name, information, um, credit card details, and, and you're good. So um, that is pretty much it. I'll get off the screen share mode. I was just answering some questions in the chat. Yeah, yeah. Um, Kim, you've got your hand up. Do you want to um, ask a question? I'm going to click on her. You're on. Hi there. Hi. Hi. I was wondering, so I'm not ready to actually, um, I don't have any patients, so I don't want to spend more money quite yet um, on the pro program, but so will I be able to purchase the program and it be recorded in like a month or two? Well, I guess December is a month away. So like by after the first of the year, or is it, I can only purchase it right now. Does that you make sense? Could. Yeah. yeah. I do it in January or February once I start building my practice and I can justify spending the money on that. <laughs> the good thing is um, 
Tamara, we'll be, we'll be doing this again. I, I can see it as something that we do every few months because okay. as more and more people start seeing patients, because I'm sure there's a lot of people that are in the same boat. So right. uh, I'm sure I, I can see this running, I don't know, like once a quarter or something like that. So oh. don't feel like you have to like rush and join if you're not ready. Um, but if you're ready and you're like, I, I want to start seeing patients because there's always this like double-edged sword where it's like, I want to start seeing patients but I don't have the system set up. Right, exactly. I don't have the system set up, so I can't start seeing patients. So, yeah. you know, at, at some point, I would say just set it up, pay for it, and then that will allow you to start seeing patients. So okay. it, it, it's so hard in the beginning. I, I totally mm-hmm. feel your pain. I know what you're going through. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I'll just keep my ad then for like a quarterly type thing or something if you go for yeah, that. Yeah, we'll run it again when you say Tamara. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did the same thing too when I first started. It was scary to like dive into a play, a, a thing that would set me um, into pain monthly. Right. I didn't have quite as many patients, but I feel like once I did that, then the patients came. So you gotta, oh, <laughs> if you build it, they will come. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally. Well, and it's also then now you have the confidence to say I'm ready to see patients because I have the system all set up. But yeah, that it's just. I mean, I'm not trying to like pressure you into doing it. <laughs> Oh yeah, I know. I get it. It's a, it's a, it's a very common um, position. I think a lot of, a lot of people on the call are probably feeling that same thing. So. Okay. Great. Well, thank you. I'm excited to maybe, maybe buy it. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks for doing it. Great idea. Oh, you're welcome. I I think, I think it's a great idea too. I'm just happy that Tamara Uh, like got it all together and figured it all out because it's, that's a lot of work. So thank you, Tamara. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. This is going to be fun. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Kim. Good. That was a really good question from Kim because um, I'm, like I said, I'm sure a lot of people are kind of feeling like that. So um, in my experience, um, taking the step to do something like Tamara said, the patients will then start to come and and it's not like it's some magical thing. It's that now you feel ready because you have like a system, you know? All right. Let's see what people have said in the comments and and you guys, if anybody else wants to raise, raise your hand, go for it. Um, Sometimes it's easier to have a conversation than read these chats, but um, let's see. Oh, and there's some in the Q and A too. I'll check both. So Kristen says, what hours on December 6th? So it'll start at nine and it'll go about uh, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two. I would say probably around two until two with breaks and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, for So 12 o'clock, that would be until 5 p.m. if you're Eastern time. And it will be recorded. I mean, you know, that will be up for, if you've taken the course, it'll be up for you to access and and watch again. And we'll probably break it into segments. I'll probably do um, our segments. So that way the recordings aren't so long and we'll try to like list what's in each segment. So if you need help and you wanna go back to a specific area, um, we can make that happen. All right, do you see any questions you wanna answer, Tamara? Um, Couple comments. Karen wanted to know if the information will be available ongoing like my own mentor is, which you answered that, right? We did. Yes, it will be. um, But after the first two months of support, um, mostly you guys, I'm doing this for Tamara. I don't want her to be kind of just answering questions and doing stuff for free, like indefinitely. So I want um, to put, you know, after two months of, of free access to ask Tamara whatever you want, um, after that point, it'll be $19.99 a month just to remain in the Facebook group, um, you know, join any future calls, things like that. Um, I think joining the Q&A calls will be open to whoever's in the Facebook group, no matter what. So, um, yeah, I think that's, that's fair for her. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see, what else? Uh, Renata wants to know how many codes you use per session. Um, I usually use one code. I don't know if I should be using more. Um, so that would be something that I'd dive more into. It's not really a simple answer. So it'd be more that I, once you take the course, I'll dive into that more and kind of walk you through all the different codes that I use and then all the codes that I use for setting up a, a super bill as well. Cause there are more than one that I use. And it is complicated. I don't know, Tamara, you're probably, um, there, this is changing a lot. So, um, you know, being able to choose uh, multiple uh, treatment codes for, Mm -hmm. you know, like if it's a 40 minute session um, using different codes, I'm I'm sure you've got that figured out. Like, you know how to do it, right? Okay. Okay. 
that and then also the IC, ICD or ICP codes, all that. The ICD, the diagnostic codes. Okay. Yeah, those go in there too. Um, those can always change. Um, but all that has to be set up to do the super bill at the end when you're all done with um, sessions, you have to have all that information in there. So yeah. I would say, I mean, the main codes that I use for the treatment are the 97110, 97112, and maybe like two others. Um, and yeah, you can use combinations per session. So I think that'll like hopefully answer Renata's question. But um, yeah, there's to see exactly what Tamara's doing. I, I don't even know. So I'll have to sign up for the course. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, that's great. Do you know, do you get much feedback from patients on like if they submit it and get coverage? Have you, have you heard back from them? I usually, uh, not many have submitted to, um, in my experience, insurance, but like uh, most of them have used um, health savings account. Mm -hmm. That's where I give them the super bills because a lot of them want that for that. Some, some of them are requiring that now. And then also the units. A lot of them will want the units in there. Same with um, health insurance. So um, I've had a handful of people, um, I haven't really followed up if they've been covered or not, but most of the patients that have come in knowing that it's not usually a covered benefit, but it's worth a try to, to submit that. So yeah. I haven't followed up too much. I should follow up better with people. I don't, I kind of forget about it, but we give people super bills and then I'm never sure if they actually even submit them or if they submit them and get reimbursement. Like I feel like I should track that and I don't. So I, it would be curious. I, I'm curious to know like what the, what the return is for people these days. Cause that's probably always changing. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It makes yeah. sense. All right. Let's see. Um, Sharon got her question answered. Kim says, I can't afford the class quite yet. Okay. We talked about that. Um, Sharon says, are you not concerned about not being able to record sessions for liability reasons? Um, does simple practice, it doesn't allow you to record, right? No, yeah, it doesn't record while you're in session with the patient. I don't know. I mean, I think that's a good point. I started thinking about that because I record all my Zoom sessions pretty much for my own mentor reasons. So I have like documentation on um, exercises and, and stuff like that for you guys. But um, yeah, it could be done as a liability thing. But I, I mean, for years and years, I never recorded sessions, something I started doing very recently only for my own mentor. So I wouldn't say that that's something that you guys should feel like you need to do. It actually, I mean, Tamara knows, it starts taking, it like bogs down your computer. Mm -hmm. it, it, I mean, you've got to like buy like terabytes of storage on, um, you know, Dropbox. I mean, it's hard when you have a lot of patients and a lot of video footage. I don't know that it's worth doing for just fun, you know, for just liability. I mean, I don't know. What do you think, Tamara? Um, the way the perspective I take it in is, um, I, I mean, a lot of patients wouldn't want to be recorded anyways, but when you go to the doctor's office, they don't record you. So I don't know how HIPAA compliant is to like save it, all that kind of stuff. So I, I was just having a conversation the other day with someone about this as well. So, I mean, for liability to make sure nothing, you know, they can go back and review the footage, but also there's the patient privacy part. That's tricky. Yeah. yeah. So when, when I have people sign up, I mean, basically one of my stipulations, if people want to work with me as a therapist, they have to have their sessions recorded and they know that. So going into it, if they don't want that, then they don't get to work with me. I refer them to someone else. Um, so I think if you're going to record sessions, you should always tell people, even though people know I do it, I say to them at the beginning of every session, I'm like, um, just so you guys know, we're recording. You can see the little recording thing in the, in the corner. Um, and, and I just, I feel like it's really important to reiterate that and, and say it, uh, even though they know and they sign the paperwork and all that, but I've been on zoom with people and there's a little recording thing up in the corner and they don't say anything. And I feel like that's so awkward. I'm like, I feel like you should ask me if you're going to record me. And then I'm in the situation where I have to ask about it. So I don't know. I've had it happen once or twice and I think it's weird. So definitely say something if you're going to record. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, good point, Tamara. Um, let's see. I'm trying to read through these chats. Melissa says, I have patients that submit in many different states. I'm only seeing about 10% reimbursement. Okay. That's good to know, Melissa. And yeah. Melissa's got a lot of patients. So that's, that's good statistics for us to know. 
Uh, let's see, Anne says, it's nice when you're new for learning purposes. Yeah, all this stuff, I think, um, for recording sessions, for sure. It's so helpful to watch yourself. I do agree, that is a good, that's a good point. I learned a lot about myself on video <laughs> from watching recordings of me do ther doing therapy. So good point. Uh, all right, anything else you guys? Does anyone wanna raise their hand? All right, Marilyn's got her hand up. You're on, Marilyn. Hi. Oh, there you go. Hi. Hi. Um, what do you need prior to taking the class? Um, I mean, I don't have, I haven't started yet, so I don't have patience. I know it's a live class, but do, I guess my question is like, I have a Mac computer. Is that going to be sufficient enough? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, you mean as far as like, um, Technology. Technology. Yeah. Yeah. And do I need, do I need to have um, already signed up for a license or anything like anything? Correct. Else? I mean, so, I don't have a business license. I mean, so that's going to be in the pre-tutorial course that we're going to okay. have pre recorded that I'll do. And then you'll be able to have that all done before we have the, the actual session, the actual four hour course. So it'll so, go over like MacBook will be totally fine. That's actually what I'm on right now. Um, and then there'll be like NPI number, business license, all that stuff, you know, address. So then you have it to enter it in during the actual session, but there'll be a whole recorded course on that. Once okay. you, Perfect. you, Sarah, it'll be uploaded into the It'll be in the, yeah, once you get into the online course, uh, like once mm -hmm. you're in the program, you should see it, but list it for people just so they have an idea. So they'll need an NPI number. Um, NPI what, number, business what license, depending okay. on where you're at. Okay, that's good, that's uh, good to know. Address, so if you're at home, you'll need a PO box. So a lot of people, because that will go onto your um, billing statements. And if you don't want people knowing where you're living, um, mm -hmm. you'll need the PO box, so having that set up. Um, if you want, you need your logo, if you want your logo on anything. Um, if you don't have a logo, you can still do it though, right? Because I don't Oh yeah, to... definitely. Yeah. yeah, and you can upload it later. Um, uh, if you want your website or your phone number, if you have a phone number that you want to use, a business number, or even just your cell phone, whatever you're okay with having on the information for patients to see, um, mm -hmm. you'll need all that stuff. So um, now, how changeable is it, Tamara? Like, if people are like, I don't have a separate address, I just want to use my home address. Can you yep. go in and change the address later? Yeah, you can do it okay. later. Okay. And so, my other question is um, I'm working within my husband's practice, so we work together. So, and he's a dentist. So, could I just use his NPI number? Or That's a good question. Do you know, Tamara? I would think so if he's overseeing the dentist. You're mm -hmm. doing bio within it, right? Mm -hmm. Talk to him. See if he has an, any idea. Um, I would think that you could. I don't know. I know um, Audrey's on here. She's a dentist. Um, who else is a dentist on here? If anybody knows, I'm not sure how it works with overseeing. Um, right. I can, I'll look into it. I was just curious. Yeah, no, it's a good point. Um, you could definitely use the office address and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Right. Right. Definitely. Okay. Well, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, good questions, you guys. And I, I think this is real. I'm glad this came up. I didn't even think that people would need like business addresses and stuff like that. So I'm glad we're, we're covering this down <laughs> um, because that's the kind of stuff that'll, that'll hold people back when they're like in the middle of trying to set this up. And now they're like, oh my gosh, I didn't know I needed my NPI number. So um, the NPI is easy. I think the business, um, the business, uh, do they need an EIN? Yeah, like you're, once you sign up for the um, license and everyone, everywhere is so different. That's where it becomes a little bit tricky. You kind of have to do a little research into where you live. I'm yeah. in San Diego in California, so I know that one pretty well. But if you're um, out of California, it might be a bit different. Um, so yeah, chances yeah, yeah. are, I would say worst case scenario, you guys can probably use your social security number um, if you're just, you know, starting out. But if you have a separate business that has a separate um, tax ID number, then you'd want to use that. So I know I use my social security number in the beginning when I was a sole proprietor. So it also depends on, on how your business is set up. So let's see, Melissa's got her hand up. I'm going to click on her because maybe she even has some insight into this too. So hi, Melissa. 
Hi, how are you guys? <laughs> good. Um, good. So at first, I just want to say, Tamara, thanks so much for doing this. So I just wanted to pop in. I actually, that question that was just answered, um, I actually called Simple Practice because I just purchased it not that long ago. I just told Sarah the other day. Um, and I work in multiple different practices. So simple practice, I actually, you can actually change the, you can actually change the super bill to whatever the dentist you're working under on top of your own practice. So there is a, I can send you some, what they sent me. So there is ways to go about it. Cause whenever I'm submitting it, I'm always submitting it through whatever dentists I'm working in conjunction with. Um, okay, that's really good. To yeah. Know. Because just because I that's how I do it differently. But I just wanted to kind of tell everybody, Tamara, I wish, you know, there was something like this prior because Sarah, as you know, 10 years ago starting, I had so many different types of things I was using. And even though I know nothing about simple practice and I look like a disaster on it, it still has made things that much easier. So just to tell everybody, it's definitely worth it's definitely worth like just listening to you and get, getting themselves familiar with it because I, I just think it's a no brainer for anyone that wants to practice. Patients will come. <laughs> yeah, totally. No, it's a good yeah. memory. We, you've been doing this about the same amount of time as me and yeah, just 10 years Melissa is a myofunctional therapist. I know some of you have heard her um, speak before she works with the breathe Institute. That's how I know her. And um, she, her, her main focus is, orthodontics and myofunctional therapy and the way she combines it is really cool and um so yeah it's a really unique perspective on using the dentist npi and i'm, I'm glad that, that came up but so. having the simple practice and having your own place i can tell you know and i'm very excited to hear everything you'll teach us about it is a great place and i'll tell you every dentist that just this last month that i've shown has been excited and even offered to buy it for their own practice for the cool. therapist to use. So nice. just, I think it's a really good learning tool. So I just wanted to say thanks so much for doing this. And I hope everybody joins. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. Yay. <laughs> thanks. Uh, bye guys. Bye. 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 Uh, all right. Uh, anybody else want to comment, question, um, raise your hand. I'll check the Q and A and everything. Um, Sharon says, Tama, your NPI, are you an RDH or specialist? Okay, this is a good question. Uh -huh. <laughs> Um, do you want to clarify, Tamara? I can, but. Uh, you can clarify. I mean, I think I have the same answer you do, but. So in recent years, uh, we've discovered that some people, when they set up their NPI number, can do it as a specialist. I'm personally set up as a hygienist. I didn't even know that was an option when I set mine up, but uh, there's a couple people, I know this was pointed out to me in Texas, um, a couple hygienists there have structured their um, NPI number as a specialist, which is a completely different like taxonomy code, I believe is what it's called. You guys will see it when you log in. There is no code for myofunctional therapist. You really only have the option of hygienist or specialist. I don't know what the better choice is. Um, I don't know much about the specialist code other than there are people doing it. Um, do you have any more insight on that, Tamara? I'm the same because when I did my MPI, it wasn't a thing that I could use. I, there was not a specialist one. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I'm still under my RDH. Yeah, me too. Does, if anybody else knows, is anybody, um, do you guys want to just comment in the chat? Is anybody else set up as a specialist? I don't see anyone. Um, um, Sheree's asking, is there a deadline to sign up for the course? Um, there's no deadline. You guys, I think the earlier, um, you know, the earlier you can do it, the better, just so you can be prepared and you can watch the, the pre-course videos and stuff that Tamara has set up. But I mean, you could probably sign up the day of, <laughs> we'd love yeah. to still let you do it. <laughs> it just might not be as easy for I mean, you. The pre-course is helpful to like really be prepared, but you can always go back in and change stuff later. It's not like you can't set up the simple practice platform without all of it, it just would be harder to go back later and do it. Yeah, and and because of the nature of, of how the course is gonna be, where Tamara is gonna be walking people through it, being able to do it with her would be really helpful, but I, I don't think that it would be bad to go back and do it on your own. Watching the video later, you could totally do that, um, yeah. but it's it's up to you. Yeah, um, uh, let's see, you go for it, Tamara. Shelly said, how difficult is it to move a question intake questionnaire to simple practice? It's um, it's not difficult. I mean, it was hard for me to figure out at first, but um, the way I'm gonna show you will make it pretty 
you'll be able to do it pretty fast. And, and Tamara is pretty much using all the same mile mentor questionnaires and everything that I use, she's, she's using. So you guys, if you're, if you're already like familiar with my documents from the mile mentor program, she's using the same one. So mm-hmm. yeah, we made sure we're all on the same page. <laughs> all right. What else you guys? When is the pre-course? That's inside. So once you sign up for the course, all the the pre-course materials will be in there. And that's where Tamara has, it sounds like a pre-recorded video where basically you can watch it and then go through all the stuff that she's talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Karen says she's set up as a specialist. Sorry. Oh, (laughs) do Angela says, do you have uh, to have an MPI if you're not submitting to your insurance, to an insurance? That's really the only reason why I have it. Or super bills, if someone wants a super bill later, I've had them ask for that. Mm -hmm. I don't know that you have to have an NPI number, but that's an easy one to set up. That's way easier than getting a business license number. I mean, that's that you actually have to like submit to the IRS and they have to write like a letter back to you. And that can, that can actually be a process. Um, I don't know, maybe they're doing it more online, but I know that sometimes like with the IRS, you literally have to wait for a letter in the mail. So I would like to think they've sped up the process, but who knows? (laughs) Uh, What else you guys, anything else? I think we're good. Hopefully this is helpful. You guys, Um, again, we're not like paid by simple practice. Um, It just seems to be a system that's worked well for a lot of people doing myofunctional therapy. Tamara happens to be really good at it. And she happens to be, um, you know, somebody I know pretty well, and she's worked with me and I consider her a friend. So I wanted to be able to, you know, use all her knowledge to help you guys get started. So that's, that's really, I mean, that's why we're all here. So um, I think that is it. Um, but thank you guys so much. I see everybody's kind of saying, thank you. This has been helpful. I will post, we'll post this recording in the Facebook group so people, more people can watch it. Um, and then if you guys want any more of the details, or if you have any questions, just send me an email and, uh, we'll make sure that everything's all, um, you know, pretty clear for you guys. And, and we will run it multiple times. I think, you know, as more people get ready, um, it's just going to be something that we've got to have available. So Catherine, you've got your hand up. Let's do one last question. I'm going to click on you. You're on. Hey, um, sorry. I just was thinking through, I was looking at the dates and it looks like I am a part, I'm in your myo mentor class right now. And I think that's going to be our last week of the course. Is that right? If I'm doing September my six, right. probably. Yeah. yeah. Probably gonna end right um, now. Mm-hmm. So if I don't have all of these things I'm working on kind of the business end um but if I don't have all of these completed like website and those types of things but if if I at least have my business license and things like that started will I be able to at least be on a good jump start to to join this course and um I don't know have have the basics of what I need I think so for sure Uh okay okay you're going to be like in the perfect situation, actually, like you just finished my own mentor and you dive into the next course, you get your simple practice going. You're going to be like super prepared. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yes, I'm ready to like go and hit the round running. So this is great yeah. timing. So thank you. Yeah, that's perfect. I didn't even think, I mean, I guess it makes sense, but um, I, I was, I wasn't expecting so many um, current students to, to be here. So I'm glad you guys are. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. All right, you guys. Well, it's been just about an hour. I'll let you guys all get on with your evening, but thank you, Tamara. I really appreciate you for doing this. Yeah, thank Thank you all of you for being here and taking time as always out of your evenings to learn something and to listen to us. And, um, you know, please be in touch uh, for more information. You should be able to sign up like now if you go to the website. So um, just let us know if you have any questions. All right. Thanks so much, you guys. Bye, Tamara. Bye, everyone. Bye.